Right guys, part four of the build. Uh, first of all, I've um, installed the camera. Not sure what way round the camera's meant to go. I took a lucky guess as to most of them I've had. I've always had the uh, connection port up the top. That's that. Just working out where to put the VTX onto the build. Uh, as you can see, I've got most, well, all the speed controllers are connected to the motors, orientation on them is all correct. Another update on a bit of info. No, I didn't kill the motors, thank God. Um, but it was lucky I could have done. Um, so here it is. I've wired in down here. Uh, it's a bit difficult to see because they're coated in black. There's one the other side, same as what I've done with the other pins that I showed you on the um, controller unit, the single pins. I've done single pins here, going off uh, live and negative, off to the... Uh, oh, bloody hell, I've forgotten what they call them now. VTX, the video transmitter. Um, it's the lead going out the back there, dropping down. Uh, to plug into the VTX, the lives coming off of there, and then you've got the other lead, which is this one, runs up to the connector there and drops through a hole up into the front to connect to the camera. Now, I did say I was going to try and get it as tidy as possible, um, that's probably as tidy as I'm going to get it, or all can be bothered anyway. But everything fits inside, speed controllers sit pretty comfortably. Um, there's no exposed wires really on the outside um, yeah so it's just a case of putting the bottom plate on screwing it all in uh, run a uh, lead for me battery here um, I was going to somehow try and fix it to the quad frame so it was a solid link a bit like my fossils if you look on the fossils they've done it where you actually bolt in a XT60 and on this one you can have it kind of sitting flush I've not started that build yet that will be the next one um, yeah so that's it guys it's just a case of putting it back together uh, once it's all back together I'll finish off putting the rest of the parts on like the VTX plug all the um, FPV gear in, make sure that's all working properly. Um, pretty simple when you know that, but to all you that have not built a quad, it's pretty messy actually, more messier than I thought it was going to be, but it's tidy on the outside, which is what counts. And uh, it's all functional, everything works as it should. So there you go job done thanks for watching subscribe to my channel there will be other videos coming watch any of the other videos I've got on there as well uh, some might be interesting some might not that's the risk you take on YouTube uh, like and share dislike comment ask questions always welcome and take care people and uh, wait for the next vid to come